So let's go to Google. I'm going to show you first how you can download OBS. So you're going to go to Google and type in OBS Studio. The first thing you're going to see apart from the sponsored one here, it's going to be the OBS Studio. Usually the website is obsproject.com. That's where you can download the latest OBS. Now, if you're using Windows or Mac, depending on what you're using, you can actually go ahead and download for whatever operating system that you're using. Uh, in our case, we're using Windows. Windows, okay now as you can see latest version of OBS supports Windows 10 and Windows 11 so make sure your computer is running at least Windows 10 or Windows 11 okay once you're done click here on Windows or Mac whatever and follow the instructions super easy to install I already have mine installed okay but it's just going to install it no problem Another thing that I forgot to mention that you're going to need, you are going to have a good internet connection. That's the key because you cannot live stream without an internet connection. And I would recommend you don't use Wi-Fi. Try to use a cable, an actual cable, and connect it directly from your router into your computer or from any, an Ethernet switch or anything. But it's got to be hardwired in because if not, Wi-Fi is not reliable. So don't try to stream over Wi-Fi, okay? So now that we have OBS installed, the first time you open it, it's going to look like this. Obviously, I have few scenes that I have created here, but I will actually ask you to ignore this because this is what you're going to see when you open OBS for the first time. So what we need to do now, I have my Facebook page ready here. Okay, this is my Facebook page and that's where we're going to be streaming to. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you're going to go ahead and go to scene here where it says scene and we're going to add our first scene. Okay, that's like our main scene kind of. We're going to call it main scene. Let's just call it main. Okay, and I'm going to hit OK. Now, the scene, uh, this scene is actually is going to be a composition of sources. OK, mostly sources are going to be your camera, your microphone. And if you have some music in the background, it could be that if you have some pictures you want to show on the stream, it's going to be that. But for the sake of this video, we're going to keep it simple. So we're going to be connecting our camera and our microphone. OK, so the next thing that you need to do is you're going to go to click to that scene and we're going to go to sources and we're going to hit plus and we are going to add first a camera. OK, so now for your camera, because it's going to be connected through USB or through a capture card, what you need to do is you're going to go ahead and choose video capture device. OK, to add your camera and you can name it, let's say name it camera and hit OK. And we're going to go ahead and look for your camera. OK, so usually you have a list of all the cameras that you have connected. This is all my inputs connected right now. But in your case, maybe it will show up as a capture device or something. So depending on the capture card that you're using, that's kind of how it's going to show up here. OK, for me, I have Blackmagic Design, which is my ATEM Mini. That's the one we're going to be using. I can go ahead and choose my streamer's virtual camera here and i'm gonna go here and actually enable it all right so this is a sample of my camera again if for you it may be something else but this is me capturing myself right now again i repeat in your case it could be something else depending on the capture card that you're using it could be a cam link it could be the name of your capture card it could be capture device or something else all right so it's going to show up here for sure. OK, and then the next thing you have to do for resolution again, usually it would just capture the default resolution, but you can go ahead and actually go to custom. You can change it if you want to 1920 by 1080 P, which is full HD. OK, and frames per second, you can just keep it that way. You don't have to do anything. All this stuff here, you don't have to do anything here. You can just use the way it is and hit OK. So now we have my camera into OBS. The next thing we have to do is we need to bring in our microphone because right now, if I was going to go live, there will be no audio. OK, so what we need to do is we need to go to the plus sign again, go to audio input capture capture okay and we can type call this microphone okay and then we hit okay 
okay and you need to look for your microphone so in your case again depending on the type of microphone you're using if you're using the microphone connected to your camera it's going to show up through your capture card so it's going to be the same device that you used as a capture card if you're using a usb microphone it's going to be a separate microphone for example if you're using the tone or tc40 it's going to show up as on our tc40 all right in my case i have my atm mini connected as a microphone as well so that could be another microphone that i use i have my vocast um, interface which is this one right here but you can see i have a lot of options here but i'm gonna go ahead and get microphone black magic design all right so i just added a little bit of volume so now it's working because the the volume was at zero and as you can see i have a signal right now coming from my microphone so that's how you would add a usb microphone and boom so once we have the audio we have our mic we have our lights obviously so the whole setup the camera is connected to the computer you have your light and you're looking good on camera it's time to actually go live okay now another thing again this is a beginner's guide so you may design another scene for like a welcome scene or a countdown timer or you know after you stream you may design something like you know that says thanks for watching so those are things that you may do to kind of spice up your stream for the purpose of this video we're not gonna do that but i want you to keep that in mind okay you can go ahead and design another scene i'm just gonna show you a little quick we can call it welcome okay and then on this scene what we can do is we can go ahead and look for an image okay so let's say it's called this image welcome we're gonna call the source welcome okay welcome image right and hit okay and we need to browse find it we're gonna go ahead and browse find something that we can use here look for an image that we can use let's bring in this image for example right okay so this is a quick image to just show you again when you bring it in it may show up like this okay and what we need to do you can right click to it and go to transform and then go to fit to screen okay this is just an example right so now it fits the screen and then what we need to do is if you have some music you can add some music but again we're gonna keep it simple you can go to add source and then we can add a text okay and then hit okay and then what we can do we can type welcome okay just welcome something simple we can choose the font that we need so something that looks a little fancy b best b best is my favorite font and hit okay and then you can maybe have it centered in here right you can also go to filters or properties and let's see if we can add some gradient or something opacity 200 percent something like this so as you can see it doesn't look bad okay again this is super quick so this is like your welcome and then we can move it on the top of main okay so now i can switch from between welcome and then when i'm ready to go live i can hit go live right again you can add like a lot of information you can also switch from if you go here you have studio mode if you switch to studio mode it gives you an ability to preview a scene before you take it live so i can actually hit cut okay let's say i choose my main my main camera is gonna be in preview and before i go live i can hit cut and it's gonna go live okay if i wanna go back to this scene i can go back to this scene no problem so before you go live you can have this thing that says welcome and then whenever you're ready you can hit cut to your main scene here uh, which is you talking and you know or maybe sharing your message and then boom you live okay so the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to actually go to settings okay 
and we are going to go live for real okay so what you see now here the main settings for obs you have your three your general settings you don't have to do anything here you have your stream settings this is what we're going to be using for streaming you have your output settings in most cases it's gonna look like this the video bit rate you can keep it you know at this no problem or adjust it depending on your internet connection but for the simplicity of this video we're gonna keep it this way and um to be honest the encoder you can change it if you have a dedicated graphics card you can change it to this or if you don't just keep it to software okay but other than that this is pretty much it keep it simple and on video here this is where the magic happens so on video here you want to make sure you change it to full hd okay full hd which is 1920 by 1080p okay this is important okay and here keep it at 30 frames per second so this number here can stay at 30 no problem okay and that's pretty much it once you're done you can hit apply and the next thing we're gonna hit okay now the next thing is we're gonna go to our facebook group you're just gonna close this so this is my facebook page and so open and what you need to do is you need to go to live where it says live video okay and you need to click where it says live here this is what you need okay you need to click select okay once you get here you're gonna see you have two different tabs you have the webcam and the streaming software since we are using obs we're not streaming directly from our camera you're gonna go ahead and hit streaming software okay and then from the streaming software so you have the stream key by the way this stream key has to be a secret so you can show it to nobody and if you click to advanced you have the server url okay you're gonna need this as well okay so now let's go back to obs as you can see here i'm going to minimize it uh, if we go to settings and go to stream and where it says service we're gonna switch to facebook live now for facebook live if you were to use custom you see it's gonna ask you the server which is the server url and the stream key but since we have the facebook preset already built into obs we won't need the server uh, the server url key so you can just leave it at default okay obs already knows now what you need is gonna be your streaming key okay so what you need to do is you're gonna go here to your facebook page okay go to my stream key here copy the stream key and go back to obs go to settings okay and then go to stream and then again i'm gonna switch to facebook live right here and then i'm gonna hit stream key so i'm gonna right click and paste okay and then hit apply and then hit okay so now i can have my my stream here my main which is my welcome scene bring it to live i can just go ahead and actually hit start streaming okay now i should be streaming to facebook right now so what i need to do is we can go ahead and close this and go to facebook and as you can see i am live right now okay and whatever i have in obs here is the same thing that i have here on facebook all right so now at this point the only thing that you need to do add details okay go to the title of your stream so it's just call me testing me testing and then we can go to description this is just a test and then hit save okay also choose public because now it's going public right and then once you're done because now you have a signal all you need to do is you hit go live once you hit go live you're gonna be live streaming on facebook so your feed on facebook people will be able to watch you so i'm not gonna go live because people won't understand why i'm live but 
this is it once you hit this go live button it's gonna go live if i go back to obs and switch to my main scene right now which is me talking the camera and the microphone and everything and let's check obviously it's a little delay but as you can see the signal is there so i'm live you can see my image no problem okay so this is how you go live guys on facebook my name is sam again you're watching live production tips and tools and i will see you on my next video take care